Framework's accessibility panel is equipped with a variety of tools designed to help you in this endeavor. Now, these tools streamline the process of making your website more accessible. And since uh, accessibility forms the backbone of web design, ensuring that a wider audience can access and enjoy your content is crucial. So in this video, we're going to focus on uh, the built-in accessibility elements and options available in Framer. And uh, in one of the future videos, we're going to talk about uh, some uh, really useful accessibility audits uh, and uh, accessibility tools uh, to optimize your website overall. So let's get started. And uh, the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select uh, a text element and uh, we're going to examine the accessibility panel here on the right. Now, as you can see, there is this info icon where you can learn more on their website. So I highly encourage you to check out that page as it uh, gives you a clear summary of uh, the accessibility principles and elements at your disposal. But starting from the first one, which is going to be the tag, and this is specifically related to the typographic elements, uh, you can see how you can establish uh, what type of tag uh, is uh, this uh, from a code perspective. So in this case, since this is the main headline, it's going to be an H1. And as we go down, we perhaps want to have this attributed as an H2, as you can see right here. But overall, this helps both the search crawlers to and the overall the code to identify or actually identify via the code uh, what type of uh, tag uh, of text tag uh, this uh, is uh, all about. So what uh, we're going to do next is we're going to talk about uh, the tab index. And uh, the tab index uh, is interesting in the sense that uh, by default, uh, the tab order on a web page follows uh, the sequence of links, buttons, and inputs uh, based on their arrangement in uh, the layers panel or markup. And the Framer's accessibility panel allows you to set a custom tab order. So this feature is particularly useful for directing users' attentions uh, to primary call to actions uh, first. Uh, and uh, essentially, this is going to be one of the elements uh, which uh, you want to keep in mind uh, from an accessibility point of view. On top of that, uh, you want to also uh, identify some uh, segments uh, which uh, maybe you want the Google bot to simply skip. So you have, uh, if you have, for example, uh, a particular section that uh, you want to focus on and uh, you simply want the Google bot to skip that section for whatever reason, this is going to be a useful tool which you have at your disposal in your framers toolbox. And uh, on top of that, uh, another useful accessibility element which is built uh, is the area label. Now, just to give you a brief context, area stands for accessible, rich internet applications and uh, its labels or attributes used to enhance uh, the accessibility of web applications by essentially providing additional information to assistive technologies uh, such as uh, screen readers. So they are part uh, of the area specification uh, and uh, this specification is designed to make uh, web content and uh, web applications more accessible to people with uh, disabilities. So. Now that we have a basic overview understanding, uh, let's talk about the area label, which uh, its goal is to provide a string uh, that labels uh, the element, uh, which is especially useful when uh, the visible text on the element is not uh, descriptive enough. So this is going to give us uh, or give the final user more insights uh, and uh, description around uh, what uh, that uh, specific element uh, is about. Now, one more element uh, which uh, you want to keep in mind uh, when it comes to accessibility in Framer is uh, the tags. And uh, this is going to be particularly useful for elements uh, such as uh, the header section 
or the footer or even um, any of these sections uh, within uh, your um, or the main the main sections mainly within your website so what uh, you want to do is uh, for example you can uh, select uh, the header and uh, i can uh, go ahead and uh, under the accessibility panel you can see that the tag associated is the header section so this is going to be related to HTML5 tags. So these are essentially tags which help the web understand what type of section or element this is about. So even if we have a look down at the elements such as the footer, this is going to be an element which we also want to identify using a tag. Now, thankfully, Framer is very smart in these regards in the sense that a lot of these tags are going to be connected by default, same for the headings, but you always want to just double check if everything is looking good in this department. And you can see all of the different type of tags that which you can uh, identify so there's the article it's going to be for the main article elements uh, within uh, a blog for example a side which is a type of uh, div uh, uh, buttons uh, uh, fig caption figure header main there's uh, all sorts of different uh, tags i highly recommend you to do one thing uh, and uh, go on google and uh, search for html5 uh, tags and uh, this is going to give you essentially a briefer rundown of uh, the main tags now you're going to see more tags than the ones that are available in framer and uh, the reason being is that it's a very extensive list in framer they focus on uh, the main ones the ones that you're going to use uh, or can uh, leverage for 99.9 percent .9 of these scenarios so don't you, you don't really have to do overdo this uh, you just want to have a basic understanding and acknowledge uh, what are the most uh, common tags uh, and then uh, associate them uh, correctly within your framework project